Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. I believe this is going to be episode 13. We're running this back to back with the with the previous episode. Uh, luckily we have made a quick save before we actually engage these people. I forgot I'd done that but I'm glad that I did. We're going to go ahead and do a long rest. We're going to go to camp. Something's wrong. I feel... I feel... What the... Darkness, protect me. What the hell? Darkness, protect me. Well, what was that all about? Oh, I know what this... What I see. Never you mind. Hmm. That's just a straight nothing. I don't want to know if I want to do that. Let's just try this. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, we get to try again. Ooh, and we actually got it. That's cool. You're not going to let this go, are you? I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. Uh -huh. A Shah worshipper? Not my usual quarry, nor my usual ally. Uh, what's the big deal about people worshiping Shah? I don't get it. Yeah, this is the one I'm, I'm thinking. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. Uh, not the truth, uh, yeah, tell me more. Talk to me later. This day's been long enough already. Oh yeah, we were supposed to talk to Will, wasn't we? We were supposed to talk to Will about his eyeball. Let's talk to Will. So what he's got going on with his eyeball. I know you've got questions, but let me ask you one first. Hmm. All right, I guess. You ever want something so bad, you'd stop at nothing to get it? Uh. No, not really, I guess. Then you don't know true desperation. Spike and his goblin cronies torched the whole God's damned village. The bugger gouged out my eye and left us all to burn. I vowed to the hells and the heavens that I'd make him pay. So rose a woman from the town's ashes. She called herself Mizora. My soul shivered as soon as her lips touched my ears. She promised I'd have my revenge. Mizora would forge me into a hero. I'd have the power to slay my every enemy, save their every victim. All in exchange for my endless devotion. She only revealed huh. her true form after I'd said yes. A cambion. Half human, half devil. She gave me a new eye. A sending stone to connect us. For calling on me whenever she so wished. My soul became hers, in this life and beyond. Huh. Yeah, he was tricked. Hmm. Yeah, what power did the Cambion grant? The flames and fury of the Nine Hells themselves. She showed me how to conjure fire and to command beasts. The more I craved, the more she promised. Bulls of fire, festering clouds. I went from spoiled brat to savior. My way of avenging every blameless life taken. Slay enough monsters, save enough villages, and there could be... Peace. Peace, you say? How's that working out for you? Do you regret it? 
You're only who you are because of a devil. Hmm. Let's ask him, does he regret it? I didn't at first. But then I came to know its true cost. I took my first taste of victory, sweet as silk root. And then another, and another. Mezora would come just after battle. Kiss my neck. Touch me just so. Dangle just one more promise over my head. A game with no winner and no end. There came a time I wanted out. I was telling Mizora just that when the Squiddy snatched us both. After the crash, goblins plucked her from her pod and... Well, I reckon you know the rest. I don't know what the drow want with Mizora. But she promised to break our bond if I save her. I free her, and she frees me. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, what's the true cost of the pack? Mizora demanded a price I was unwilling to pay. One I won't speak of. Not now. And not here. Huh. What becomes of this bargain if Mazora is killed? The bargain is void if she's killed, near as I can tell. A nigh impossible task, even for the blade. If the drow slayed her, they'd do me a great favor. Or so I think on the darkest days. But she still lives. They want something from her. Gods know what. Alright, I guess we're gonna try to find this this individual. Thank you. Your loyalty means more than the whole of the realm's riches. Just because I think that would be pretty cool. I finally figured out who that devil chick is that we keep seeing in the loading screen and it's Mazora. The devil the devil half devil, half what I say, human, I guess. Okay. Only about 88 pounds in the chest over there. Okay. Trying to get my dog settled. Normally he's asleep at this time. I record uh, really late. Like I said, most of the time he's asleep at this time, but right now he's wanting to be a, be bothersome. Some weird clipping issues going on with his little neck scarf thing. Okay. Alright, so let's look at our journal. So, Shadowheart, we learn worships the goddess of shore. She's not the only follower of shore in the party, really. Who's the other one? I wonder what would happen if I put show on map. No. Okay. Gotta start my timer back up. Let's go ahead and take that long rest we needed and see if we can actually defeat Ragzalin, however the hell you say his name. <clears throat> and 
I think we're going to go ahead and separate everyone. And who am I going to leave up here? I know that Thormir is going over here. Should Will come down? I think Will's going to come with me as well. I think I'm going to bring Will as well. Okay. No. There we go. Now, them two are going to stay up here. Excuse me. Now, he is going to move right here. These two people are. Okay, let's see if we've got something going on here. Now, if we can fight from this spot. Possibly be pushing people down to where the spiders are at down here. Let's <clears throat> do a new F5 quick save right here. And then let's give it a shot. First we'll have her cast bliss. Oh, I should have casted it before they left, huh? I do a level one on them down there then. Okay. Oh, we haven't engaged them, that's why. I shouldn't have casted it yet, huh? Yeah, that was a waste of three turns, whatever. Okay. Make herself harder to hit. There we go. Didn't do anything to it, did it? I did something. Let's examine the door. It's vulnerable to force too, so I'll have him do Eldritch Blast next. Hmm. Let's do this. Voco Avina. Yep. Let's engage the battle. He's already down to four health already. Uh, let's do a range attack. Nice. Took him on out. We'll move back a little bit, a little bit more, in case they want to try to do something with the area of effect um, trait to it. Okay, he put for her to sleep. Okay. 
Gonna chop you down, huh? Oh, see. It's a good thing Shadowheart wasn't standing next to him. Okay. I'm gonna cast bless on us this time. They seem to be. Seem to be going after Gale there. That sucks. Uh. That sucks. Are they not in the battle or what? They're not, are they? Imagine that shit. That's only three hit points. What the hell does he keep doing? I'll just blast. I can't do nothing because of this freaking fog. Can I? Pass and erupted. Pass and erupted. Oh man. What happened? It's a waste of uh, spell slots, what happened, huh? <sighs> Damn. <clears throat> Will's down there getting his ass kicked. Should have summoned a familiar before the fight started too. It's not doing too good. The only thing I got going for me is this guy seems to be glitched. What the fuck? He's way over there. I don't even know what happened there. How long is this thing gonna stay like this?
This one ain't working out too well either, is it? I still hit the mic. So that's what I mean by the AI is a little bit smarter than they used to be. So we can do to help out the guys on the ground right here. Hopefully, Shadowheart can get over here as well. Down to six hit points. Did the fire go out? Okay. I think we may have something going on now. I think. I think we may have something going on here anyway. Only 56%. Oh. Take the shot. It landed for big damage. Let's move him back around over here because he's kind of hurt. I could have been using Shockwave. It's pretty fucking powerful. Just so what the hell we got going on here. Fog's gone. I 
he's still stuck there, isn't he? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's do a level two guiding bolt on this guy. did nothing to him mm, I'm so salty about that one that sucks let's take our last healing potion over here for Thormir <clears throat> we're gonna do a dual wield attack maybe yeah fuck it what do we, do we really use both attacks? Okay. Well, let's do a fire bolt on him. Finish him off. One XP, huh? Thormir is getting... Oh, man. Oh. Ragdolin is glitched. And he's hitting people from anywhere. How'd my people end up down there? How the hell did my people end up down there? Anybody tell me that? I think I've been bamboozled here. I think I've been bamboozled. People are dead down in the hole. That sucks. Because I don't even think I have enough uh, bring them back to life scrolls. That looks like I might be. Hopefully, that's one right there anyway. Let's just see can I hit him with a ranged attack? a miss. Okay. Pick this. All right, down on top of him too. I should have took that last health potion that he's got. Cause I don't know how long those guys are gonna be able to make it down there without failing their death saving throws. Cause I definitely can't get to him right now. I'm gonna try another one of these on him. Cause the last one seemed like it never even that will hit him for 18. Nice. I wish the last one would actually hit him. See, these things right here keep getting put back on my hot bar here. And what the hell is this? Alright, whatever. We got some glitchiness going on here. Let's just then turn with that individual. 
Um. I think I'm just gonna go right here. And take this potion this time. There we go. Hit me for five. Let's see, let's just do that. What? Brazier took no damage. What? Man, this is crazy. This is crazy. No spell slots, but I got Firebolt. That does 1d10. Ignis. Oh, that's only just two right there. Does 10 when some people use it, I guess. Hmm, miss. Don't be so dramatic. So dramatic. Mm, six that time. Not bad. Let's move over a little bit, so hopefully we don't hit that invisible brazier. Hit the Brazier again. Hmm. Well, I wish he wouldn't do it. We'd do a psionic pull on him and see if we can figure out what's going on. Not sure what to do about, about him being glitched like that. What happened then? He's throwing javelin and shit from his hidey hole behind the brazier. Let's do a sacred flame on him then. Totally too far, huh? that just for shits and giggles. Intended. Completely miss novice Rue with the sacred flame. Should be able to hit him with the fireball though. I don't want to last for three turns. That was a waste. This. We did the whole ten that time. Did six back. Down to eight. Down to eight. This medicat. Nice. Okay, so I'll move back just a little bit. Try to keep her from getting hit with any area of effect attacks. Only one, huh? Oh, you're cheating me now, game. You are cheating me now. <clears throat> okay. 
That may have fixed it. That may have fixed his little glitch. Cause I got some level two spells. <laughs> gotcha. Yes. Ooh, hit. No, oh, it didn't. No, oh, it didn't. Just gonna take him out of the game. Aggravating little ass. Now let's do, uh... I'm gonna do another level two just to make sure we're still the deal here. And that is all of the goblin leaders there. See, we played it a lot smarter up to that time, and even then, I felt like it was about to lose. Raza is the one that gave him powers. Oh, we're in battle again already before we had a chance to do anything. I should have hit escape to pause the game. Ah, uh, that sucks. Now it's two against five. But no spell slots. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, I forgot we could throw stuff. All I could do, all I could throw is food at them too, so they have on them. I don't think I want to do that. Oh, find it, huh? Well, let's move her over to give room for Gale to move over so he can get out of that cloud of blindness. Nice. How much damage? Only five, huh? Take this. Ah. He's almost dead. Passing a lot of the little, uh, a lot of the checks though. Can we take him out with this shot? Nice. Now, let's have you cast a level one grease right there. Okay. Kind of stuck down there, ain't he? Yeah, let's try to take him out. With her. And we'll use him to do a level 2 Witch Bolt. Or a level 1 Witch Bolt, rather. We're at least we connected to him, even though we did low damage. So as long as he don't break our concentration, we'll be able to automatically 
He broke his concentration. <laughs> Naturally. <sighs> Critical miss. No, I won't even be able to get there. Well, uh, 65, 50. No, I'm gonna have to let, I'm gonna have to let Gale deal with him. Do a shove. There we go. That's all I can do. Nice. Okay, that worked out. If I can keep the rest of these guys from trying to come up here to where we're at. Oh, Lord. See, she's going to have to do. That's terrible. That's terrible. Full course. Cause he's at six hit points. If one of them get another big shot on him like they did before. Mm. Down to three. Okay. Selene's dream. Why not? <sighs> well, that sucks. It won't let me do it to him. It won't let me heal him. All right. Hopefully he don't die, I guess. That's all I got. Hopefully he don't die, buddy. Where did he go? Where the hell did he go? Oh, well, you went over here and snuck around behind the corner, huh? Okay. Let's try to take a shot on him. He's a little bit outside the range, but we got high ground advantage. Ooh, did six, six hit points. Now, we're going to do a firebolt on him. Sneaky little bastard. All right. And then we're gonna go all the way around over here like this. Yep, Just forces him to come back around. Oh man. I think he'd have a shot on me from there. 80%. I missed. Okay, let's move back around over here. And do a firebolt. Taking him on out. Nice. And then let's... I'm gonna do a reflective shell. Just in case that person... Decided to try to take a, a shot at me somehow. Okay. A uh, range shot on this individual. 
for four damage, and that's fine. Now then, fire bolt, same thing. Ignis. To end the fight. Okay. Okay. Real quick, F5. And then a manual save the game. Oh lord, because listen, we got we got beat up right there. We really did. We lost two party members, both two ta two down. We've only got one scroll, which means we're gonna have to pay the old dead guy to bring to bring at least one of them back. But the thing is, we have to go down there and fight the spiders to get to be able to revive to be able to revive one of them. Either one of them. Mm. Should we go? In the next episode, I'll make the decision whether I want to pay the old dead guy to resurrect them both. It really, it's really going to depend on how much money we have. But we'll see. That'll be for the next episode. But other than that, I appreciate all, all the support on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next episode.